If your girl consistently puts your food on a paper or plastic plate, she does not respect herself. It's been a popular um, post that's been going around on Facebook, going around on Instagram. And the post is, I've seen three versions. One version was, this was the first time that the dude was introducing his girl to his, uh, to his mom. And she cooked for uh, the dude's mom. And the dude's mom was African. And she happened to put the food that she cooked on a paper plate. And the first thing the mom said was something along the lines of like, how dare you? Like, do you not have respect? And obviously, you know, the Twitterverse, the Instagram verse, the uh, Facebook verse were up in arms and they were saying, you know, how dare she? You know, she should understand the struggle of a woman. Um, this lady might have had to work, you know, 60 hours this week and came home and, and found it in her heart to still make a plate. Another version is a dude saying, and that's the version I'm going to post, a uh, dude saying, uh, ladies, listen, you know, fellas, listen. If a man, uh, if a woman presents you food on a paper plate, um, she's not worthy. Something along those lines. Very simple and plain. I would never present my wife, my girlfriend, my friend, somebody I care about food on a paper plate, unless we're at a party or unless we're at a barbecue. And here's why. Attention to detail is one of those um, hallmarks of respect. Um... And I take that very seriously. So I'm the type of person, if I cook uh, a meal, even if it's just for myself, like I bought a, <laughs> I bought a square uh, plate just so I could uh, mimic, you know, the gourmet chefs on like Food Network where they'll put, you know, the meat right here and the rice right here and then the little drizzle and make it look all artistic because I understand that um, aesthetics are important. Like... The presentation of something is just as important as that thing. We would never tell our boss, for example, um, to just be happy that we did the homework if we didn't do it right, if we didn't present it right, if our handwriting wasn't neat, um, if the package wasn't put together well, if the PowerPoint wasn't put together well. And I think that's such a, uh, 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 an important um, element when it comes to self-respect and respect for others. So when I say I wouldn't give my lady food on a paper plate, it's out of respect for myself. We could talk about how paper plates are carcinogenic or whatever, but that's not even the point. The point is um, I would take pride in the presentation of what I was giving my lady. There was a movie, I can't remember what the movie was, but it was like along the lines of a mob movie, like in the 80s or whatever. And um, the younger um, guy was asking one of the older guys, one of the older bosses, he was like, you know, how can I tell if a girl is really into me or if she's just into, you know, what I am? Um, and he said, it's simple. When you go pick her up, open her door, let her in the car, let her sit down and then come around the back to get to the driver's side. The older guy said, if she reaches over to open your door, you know, she's a real one. If she doesn't reach over to open your door, then you know she's just along for the ride. And I thought that was so powerful. And I think advice like that is now lost on men. And there's another one where, you know, old heads might tell you, if you want to see how a girl feels about you, ask her to make you a sandwich. Now, you know, the feminists and the, um, you know, progressive men, might take offense to that and be like, you know, that's archaic and that's um, uh, misogynistic and, you know, you're relegating women to, you know what I'm saying, the stone ages of what a woman is. But the advice goes, based on the level of care that she uses to make that sandwich, will tell you her level of respect slash affection for you. <laughs> Shit. Like a lot of the comments that I got were, he should just be glad she made him food. How dare he? 
And a lot of the comments from the dudes, which was disappointing, was, nigga, I just want food. Like, I'm straight. I'm good. Like, this nigga is a bitch. Like, this nigga is, they, it's not that deep. My response to the, uh, to the women are, um, I remember Miles Monroe, uh, the late Miles Monroe, he once said that um, the way men receive love is through respect. I thought that was super powerful. So if you're a religious person, you know, I would look into that. Um, and I think for men specifically, the part of this whole thing that really bothers me is that I think men have become conditioned to and socialized to accept mediocrity. Men have been fed this idea that a woman's presence alone is enough. A woman's attention is enough. And whatever she chooses to do or chooses to not do, you should appreciate and you should respect because she's a woman. And I think that's harmful, counterproductive, and toxic, especially to the black community. If we're talking about mending the black family, if we're talking about bridging the divide between black men and black women, a lot of black women say black men don't communicate enough, and that's what this is for. Um, but a lot of black men don't have any standards. 